Welcome to The Enigma of Salazar House. A game published. Published. People have to know the difference between published and created. Because I know sometimes when you think, like, gaming industry-wise, you see, like, Wow! Bethesda totally made Doom! Wow, look at they published it! And it's, you're an idiot. Anyways, yeah, it was published um, by Public Combo on the, their Patreon. And it's created by Maldo19. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll read the, the Patreon store so people then uh, can know. Hang on. The Enigma of Salazar House. And there's hair in my eyes, too. Do I get for not having a haircut? Because I can't. Oh, and having my hair down. Uh, the next Puppet Combo Presents game is here, now under the label Torture Star Video. The Enigma of Salazar House is a point-and-click haunted house game with Virtual Boy-inspired graphics. The debut game from a Chilean developer... Ugh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna brutalize this guy's name. Ignacio... Maldonado. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. Um... Tw their Twitter... Oh, wait. Just further, let's see, it's 90 minutes of gameplay, save system, multiple endings, choose a color, palette, playable in English and Spanish, and works on win Windows and Linux. And Twitter handle is Maldo19, as is on the bottom left of the game. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get into it, let's try it out. Dark blue, ooh. This is... This it would be more Game Boy style. Let's see. Ooh. Game Boy. Ah. Uh, man, that's actually tempting. It really depends on, I guess, how things look in game. I want a darker color. Like, red would probably be sexy as fuck. But a Game Boy green, like, it would probably also. Ooh. And then not this one. It has to be contrasting. Hmm. Let's try Game Boy for now. It's just like sort of like uh, Lasagna Boy and um, oh, what else? Uh, the third shift is what makes me decide to try to do that. But anyways, yeah, new game. In May 1986, ren renowned author Jamie Salazar and his family vanished in Chile. Or Chile. Oh, okay. Authorities quickly dismissed the case of as nobody could prove any crime or wrongdoing happened. Because of the political climate at the time, the locals thought the military dictatorship could be responsible for the disappearances, but no one knew for sure. In March 1992, a reporter named Eliza Munoz was sent to investigate the mansion where the family lived. I'm probably really bad at pronouncing Spanish-oriented words, so bear in mind. Uh, I hope this is worth it. I have a bad feeling about this. It's like some journalist tips I have in case I forgot. I forget I should read these. I'd love to check out. Let's see. Okay. Escape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See something after you run. If you see something after you run and find a safe place to hide, a nice wardrobe could be a nice hiding place. While hidden, you have to see whatever is chasing you and its distance from you. If it's really close, you should close your lid and wait for a little and see if it's gone. Don't close for too long; it could feel your fear. While it's approaching, you can it can move from place to place. So don't lose it from sight. Pray that it doesn't find you. And those were all the tips for all the scoops. All for the scoops. Okay, so I I can use WASD to move, but I need the mouse cursor to click on things anyways. So let's see. I can't just go back without checking the house. This road is too small for a car, and this road is too long. I would say this more th this game is more of a dungeon crawler by how it's going right now. Everything for a scoop, I guess. Finally, I can see the place. There is a shack over there. I hope I can find someone. And a well over there. I need a rope if I wanted. What the f- Why would that be your first goddamn thought? Oh, hey, a creepy well. 
I'll want a rope so I can travel down there for some reason. I'm a journalist. We gotta get desperate for a scoop. What, wait, what do you mean, OBS? You fucking... Telling me a frame rate drop? I'm gonna double check my processes. Ah, God damn it! I don't know. Apparently, the Enigma of Salazar is taking up a lot of my GPU and being gay. If that offends anyone, okay, I'm gonna replace that word with being anal. <laughs> uh, no irony intended. Um, okay, OBS is now calmed down. The fuck? I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Okay, whatever. The Enigma to run a point-and-click game is costing 59.4 percent of my fucking GPU. Who the fuck knows why? Hopefully, there's no skip. Actually, it looks like trash. Hang on. Um, can I fix this? My mouse is. I'll check my footage because it's saying skipped frames in my mouse cursor when I'm looking at OBS is not exactly smooth. All right, so I'm looking at the footage. It's it looks pretty fucking unusable almost. Um, I I don't know. What the fuck I can do? It uses 13% of my CPU, and bear in mind, my CPU is pretty goddamn strong, and I'm using a 1080 Ti graphics card, and it's using 65% of my CPU, and I'm not sure if it's leaking and getting even worse over time. Alright, well, I'm back, and the only way that like, you can probably tell by my mouse cursor is just look at it. Look, look, look at this. My mouse cursor is smooth now. No, the game is still being a chugging piece of shit, and I don't mean to sound mean, but... Uh... When you make a game that is this bare bone, it's like MS Paint, and you're making my GPU consume 60 to 7, 70, 60 to 70 fucking percent of my GPU to run this game. What the fuck are you doing? I'm not a game developer, so I, I literally have no idea. But what the fuck? 70 per it, Crisis would consume less fucking GPU than this game. What the fuck? But with it running... Uh, OBS recording my desktop rather than the game itself it won't hurt OBS as badly but my GPU is gonna be uh, sweating profusely running this but at least the recording footage should be fine as my GPU begins to uh, humidify my fucking room so let's get back into the game I'll just skip mildly ahead uh. alright so I'm back the game again it's it just will look like it's running smooth, which is all I'm concerned about. My GPU will, will be fine. I mean, it's got good fans. Looks empty from what I can see. Hey, Eric, get out of my eyes too. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um. Flashlight. Hope its battery has some life. I forgot to bring mine. I'm such a fool. Rope. Uh, a rope is always useful. I don't think they would mind if I take it. It's really dusty. It hasn't been used for a long time. I'm sorry to whoever lives here, but I won't let any secrets go uncovered. It's a regular diary, but the last pages look really rushed. He was the gardener. After some events, he was forced to live here. It seems he saw something he shouldn't see and disappeared. I hope he's okay. Okay. Rope is ready. Oh god, this smells really bad. I want to puke. Take his hat. It looks like he has some time. Uh, he has, he has been here for some time. Rest in peace. This is the last page of the diary. As a simple gardener, I did my job as I was told. I live my life taking care of the plants I love. Thanks for reading my last words. Take my advice and leave. Nothing good would come out of what's inside that house. But if you really want to know the truth, I took the key with me. It should be near... Goodbye. Rest in peace, sir. Yoink. I should really think this through. This key should open the gate. Nah, we're gonna leave in the car now. It'll probably get us one of the endings. I want, I want the endings. It has multiple endings, so yeah, let's leave. I just can't... Really, man? 
The, the dude told us in the diary to leave, and we're just like, no, we're a journalist. We work for CNN. We gotta get the scoop. The key fits. I don't know if I should continue. Okay, let's do it. He, he's showing doubt. Come on. Nice. Where are they, my keys? I know they were in my pocket. Uh oh. Oh. So I drop my keys? That's it? I, was that an ending or was that a death? Hmm. I don't know if that's considered an ending or not. Or a death. Oh, ending. Oh, 105. A journalist disappearance. Ending one out of five. Nice. Collecting them all. And skip. Can we continue? God damn it. Oh, it's this. It's the ending? Oh, the ending cutscenes. Cool. Okay, so. Does it mean all the endings will be shown at the bottom, or all the animations, perhaps? Because there's five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Why is there a sixth one? Unless there's a secret one. I don't know, the very fact, though, I uh, have to do everything all over again. Oh, skip. Oh, thank God, I can skip. Thank God. So apparently we don't have our keys. But I, I do want to save so I don't have to deal with that ever again. But I'll skip ahead. Alright, let's go in the gate now. Mm -hmm. Enigma of Salazar House. Noise. What is this? You who dare to enter and make the same mistake I did, come to the library and learn how to survive. The library is the first room on the left side of the house. I want to find a save point first, because hitting escape doesn't do that. Can I go backwards now? The door... This is the door I entered, but I feel I can't go back. I have to investigate. It's open, but I can't move this. It's like there was a force field or something. What a weird painting. It's a weird family painting. Can I save this? Yes. Excellent. But it's only one save slot? Hmm. Alright, only one save slot. A place to hide? I don't need to hide, but this is a little nicer than outside. So we'd be able to track the monster, but also close the door. If you stay for too long, we get, I guess, fearful, because we can't see what's going on. We'll be learning slowly but surely. Ooh, let's look at the map. Ah, so that's how it's working. We're staring northward. That's a big map. Eh, we might as well explore everywhere. What the fuck is that? It's not even half done, what could it be? Oh, hey, are you okay? It doesn't feel like he understands me. I got chills, I think something bad is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's get more endings. No, that's not even an ending, that's just death. What a shame. So I... I click... I went to the candle. No, I don't want to click... Oh, there we go. It wants to kill me. Uh, I have to get out of here. What happens if we just stand here? If I click the candle, it made me die. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's it's fine. Whatever. Hm. Weird. Anyways, as long as we don't click the candle, the candle apparently gets us killed or makes us enter the cage for some reason. A mannequin just what I wanted to see. It's fucking moving though. Okay, let's go back and save before we I got chills. I think something bad's gonna happen. Okay, let's get in the save? Yes. I don't need a hide, but this is What the fuck do you mean? I think something bad's gonna happen, then I don't think I need a hide. Should I not hide? We saved it, so we'll find out if anything bad actually happens, but that mannequin is probably bad news. Looks like a pentagram is possibly drawn in the house. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Clicking the candles just gets us killed no matter what. Okay, at least the map is saved and where we've been. So why is it clicking the candles gets us killed? The candles, like, keeping them frozen in bay? Is it breathing? Strange. They should restore my health, but I don't know if they do something else. Something tells me I shouldn't take the pills then. Hmm. I don't want to go inside, but I have to. I don't have a good feeling about entering there. Well, I mean, he did say it was like the the first door to the library. Oh my god. Table with a corpse. His face, who could have done that? It reads, This house is cursed. Once inside, you can't leave. A ritual. Something dark is happening. Your only hope is reading the black book. If you disrupt the ritual, you could escape. I hid the book in this room. Ugh. Please end this tragedy, and that's how it ends. Me and my luck. Okay, so we grab black book. You are never going to leave this place. You can't stop the ritual. If you were smarter, you would look behind you. I don't want to look behind me now. The Book of Faith, sh the fifth, the fifth shift. Paranoia Heaven. Spaghetti Tower, September 1988, not the bite of 89, World of Terror, Italian Staircase, Massacre with a Power Drill, hmm, Freak from Sky, Gears of Metal, Yes More Heroes, a lot of game references, like No More Heroes, Metal Gear, Freak from Sky, um, not sure what it's referring to, Power Drill Massacre, um, The Glass Staircase, World of Terror is World of Terror. September 1988, um... Not sure. Spaghetti Tower is probably Pizza Tower? Like that one platforming game with the weird Italian dude that looks like Ren and Stimpy kind of animation. Paranoia Heaven was the game that... was also published by... published by uh, Puppet Combo. The Fifth Shift probably is a reference to the Third Shift. And the Book of Faith... Not sure. Sword one, don't know. Einst door? Probably Stein's gate. It's an anagram. Einst, you just rearrange and it can be Stein's. Or actually, I mean, Stein's has two S's in it and that only has one. So that'd be technically an, a typo and it should be Einst. Because it has two S's if it's Stein's gate. Because it's definitely Stein's gate reference. Like a Yakuza. Hearts of a Kingdom, so Yakuza series, Kingdom Hearts. 101 heroes. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Your soul. Rain. Hotline Miami. Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac is a Binding of Isaac and Black Book. 
Okay. Now I want to go and save it before I die. Oh, I got chills. I think something bad's gonna happen. I'm saying you don't need to hide again. It's like... Could I get chased? It's just... No oh. Oh. Can I move? Okay, we're being chased, probably. How does this work, exactly? It's saying I don't need to hide. Uh, this time, it's not telling me I don't need to hide. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, well, music went normal again. Weird. Yes. So the mannequin and the dude in the cage are just being sacrificed or something. I feel bad holding it. Uh, this it holds knowledge about what I have to do. Uh, as you now have this book, you are hereby cursed. The answers you seek will be granted to you. We are now linked. The ritual, the revival ritual, is on course to regain your freedom. The four sacrifices must be del delivered. Their uh, torment needs to end. Uh, this is hard to read. The ritual is on standby, waiting for someone to complete it. Turn off four candles and escape, or end, uh, or end it. For the wisest soul, remove her last link to reality. Cut its light. For the kindest, for the kindest soul, make it remember its most beloved other. Remove her last link. So these are, I guess, references of how do I make it so I make them not, like, I can release them or I can sacrifice them for different endings. Maybe in one of the endings I don't even need to hold the black book because apparently it curses me. For the saddest soul, your company is valuable. Show his reality and his... Your company is valuable. Show his reality and its loved ones. For the angriest soul, a calm melody from the past may soothe its anger. For the saddest soul, so it depends if we can identify who's the saddest one, because then I just have to give it company. It sounds maybe basic. To stop the ritual, the last candle must be extinguished. To end the ritual, the first four candles must be extinguished and reignited in the dark. Then the candle that's guarded on the last door <coughs> should be turned off and reignited. And I'm gonna get... <coughs> God, what the hell is in my throat? Um, it's confusing. How I put the... There we go. That's kind of confusing, though. Um, I'll probably forget what that and all that means. Yeah, we have to do it properly, so the angriest soul needs a melody. I got chills. I'm not sure if, like, the mannequin is a sad person, and maybe I could just give him company. A family looking at the moon. It's a beautiful landscape. I think it's a couple. One is a little sad, but I think they are happy together. I think I'm safe. Alright. What is that? Oh, is that? I don't want to read the message. All right, I guess I'll just ignore it as a thing that's under the ground. Always bring your lantern, my dad said. I was lucky to find this one. I remember sleeping in a bed like that. It was really uncomfortable. I need a key. Sure. 
wheelchair. It's pretty old, has some white hair, and smells like old people. It has some family pictures and some really old ones. It appears that this is the room of the grandma in the painting. One of these pictures show her hugging her grandsons. So we don't need that. Okay, so we'll only come back here once we have a combination. Hmm. Place to hide in case. Door is locked. Oh god, rest in peace. Yeah, time to save. So for this guy... For the wisest, remove her last link. Her last link. For the kindest soul, make it remember its most beloved other. So I'm guessing that'd be for the grandma, for the grandma somewhere. For the saddest soul, your company is valuable. Would it be this guy? Are you sad? Is it moving? No, my mind has to be playing tricks. So I just like maybe sit here? One of them's gonna need company. Maybe this guy wants company. I'll just I'll just sit here and see if anything happens or if anything bad happens. I did save it after all. Mm. Yeah, well, some bitch is coming towards me. What if we die to her? I don't think it's gonna be an ending, it's just gonna be death, but Oh. Nothing happened? I feel that hole is calling to me. Mm -hmm. It's broken, I'm not sure if it works, and I'm not interested if it does. A lot of old body cream and soap. I think I see something. Why, oh, that's not gonna be good. Let's do it anyways. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. I want that thing. Ah, just a little bit more. We need the key, so as soon as we get the key, we can run away. Gotcha. But we're gonna go forward just to see what horrible shit happens. Because going further means it feels so warm, like I'm being with my family. Going this way is definitely death, but we gotta figure it out. I have to keep on, I feel happy. The hole is getting smaller and smaller. Oh, uh, I can I can tell the reference to this. It's embracing me. It's uh, the Junji Ito, the mountain reference for sure. It feels like I can't go back. I'm scared. Please, something or s someone help me. I don't want to die. Please. I have to move forward. This hole was made just for me. And it looks like a walnut. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, we got an ending. Our porter named Eliza, went and investigate, and she was never seen or heard from again. We got two endings already, and... Ending... Zero. Oh, okay. I questioned that. I have very much questioned that. Well, so it must have been some kind of secret. If there's five endings, but then there's a zero ending. It's not exactly a secret, it's just go down the hole. But hey, I'm not going to complain, I got two endings. Now you just need two, three, four, and five, because zero exists, so there's six endings. But interesting nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed, we're going to end it here. Uh, uh, two endings is pretty damn good for, for episode one. I can tell the game is probably not going to be a giant game. It'll be detailed, but in a small area. So it'll have a lot of variables, and we have to imagine what we need to do to get all the endings. Probably one is like, with the black book, with the black book, and without the book, and without the book. Or with, 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 and without. Because it would be hard to imagine beating the game without the back book, except if you have meta-knowledge, which is probably what the game is going to go for, for uh, at least one of the endings. It's like, you know, uh, 
you're not cursed by touching the book, but you know how to stop the ritual or continue the ritual uh, based on meta knowledge. So we'll probably get that in the second playthrough after beating it with the cursed book since, you know, our save is fucked. We have the book and we're cursed. But either way, we'll leave it here. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching and until the next time. Mm -hmm.